Tell us about what are the kinds of opportunities that a young student, a young man or woman in a college somewhere can look forward to in the next 5-10 years. First thing is, I really envy them because uh, when you and I finished the uh, PhD and went uh, out uh, to the job market, the kind of scenario in India was a very, very different one because we were not a big economy then. I mean, that economy size also brings in some uh, on the verge of becoming the third largest economy. So we will have to take leadership. There's a lot to do. If you look at the current geopolitical situation, a very, very fluid situation wherein you don't know who's your friend, who's your foe. It can change very dramatically and very quickly, which makes it for a country of our size to be independent of the influence of others that is where the slogan of Atmanir Bartha comes in which means that we depend only on ourselves so our supply chain and other things are established if you look at uh, our uh, procurement of uh, weapons and weapon systems it's a few lakh crores every year so when we have to procure everything from inside ultimately or a very small portion from inside, outside that's a huge job market that is going to get created because of this if you look at the defense technology one of the things that has kind of revolutionized now is the drone or the UAV technology which is also going to be a very pivotal one in the coming decades we've also started a online BS program in our department named as uh, UAV and space program so the requirement is going to be huge and most of this requirement might not come from the government as such as in the government is not going to make them and produce them and things like that it's going to be produced in the private industry wherein uh, innovation and enterprise is very important so when you have that environment setting in you have a lot of opportunities there is no dearth of opportunities that is going to come up in the near future only thing is people will have to work hard